Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm going to be throwing it back to my childhood with some Metal Gear Solid. This was my favourite game of my childhood. Absolutely loved this game. No, I mean absolutely loved it. It was my favourite game of all time. So we're going to jump in. We're going to throw it back with a little bit of retro. Just for something different. If you haven't already, do me a favour. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And let's jump into the game. Like I say, this to me was like my childhood in a nutshell. Like my favourite game of all time. And this, like, ah. Oh. And it looks like pixelated as hell. <laughs> it's literally exactly as I remember it. This opening sequence, so, like, unreal. Unreal. I'm going to check the settings because it is actually remastered. So I'm, I do believe there might be a way of increasing the settings a little bit. But we'll, we'll, we'll take a look in a second once we get into the game. This, this just brings back so many memories, like so many... The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by Next Generation Special Forces, being led by members of Foxhound. Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two huh. mission objectives. I love Version this entry. Like, this is a great Donald entry. Anderson and the president of Armstead, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. Or say do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then launch a one-man SDV. Swimmer delivery vehicle, oh, let's go. Can dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. This is great. Like, this just brings so many memories back. Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. He's so blocky. It's Psycho great. Mattis, with his powerful Oh, I remember that. Like, how are we going to do Psycho Mantis? Like, because we can't unplug the controller. Octopus, <laughs> master of disguise. It's the only way I remember. Hawk, Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot. Specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. Oh, with a bouncy bullets. In charge of them, Foxhound squad leader. Liquid, Liquid Snake. Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP. Yes, this is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Oh, so we get no. Oh, yeah, we start with no guns, no nothing, don't we? Wow. I remember this. Like, this is mad. I am playing this on PC. This is a fully remastered version. Uh, I'm going to check to see if we can turn settings up a little bit. Oh, ah, here we go. New game. We're going to take it on normal, of course. That's just like to get into the game. That's metal. Here's the insertion. This is great. This is iconic as hell. Oh, there's rations down to the left. i got to remember to get the rations. <laughs> what a game. What a game. I'm sure I can get behind them and like choke them out, can't I? I'm, I'm pretty positive I can. Stay alert. Can you be through here? I know it. 
Liquid. Liquid snake, let's go. Like, I like the fact that they actually cover like the um the reason you can't use enemy weapons is because they're coded to the like individual with fingerprint recognition or something like that. I think that's how I remember it. It's like coded to the individual, not to the This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Otherwise we'd What's have spam at the beginning. Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. Codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. Yeah, it used to be PlayStation, didn't it? Directly <laughs> stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. <laughs> right. That's the pause. Right, then. Oh, how do I dive in? Right, let's, uh... Get a good old ration pack. Right, so that's how we duck and stand up. We push up there. Okay. Now, do I go and fight him or what? Oh, I'm gonna die. He's gonna get up. Right, they're both KO'd. Right, how do I use a ration pack again? How do I use that? Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. You'll just have to... How do I use this? How do I use that? Ah, you gotta have the menu open, okay. Okay, we got in second ration. Oh yeah, I forget. You just got way, haven't you? Like I remember this section now. Uh, we know we can kill him. Uh, what's going behind him and choke him? Now there's three of them. We can get it. We can do this easy. I think the forklift is our best cover. I think we wait till he comes. No, that's it. We sprint up to the forklift. Guy behind the forklift. We wait for this bloke to disappear. Is 
it. Now we wait for him to disappear and we're running. There we go. We got that nice and easy. We're in. That's part one done. Uh, I remembered how to do that bit. That's good. That's gravy. If you haven't already, do me a favour. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Drop me down in the comments how, think, how long you think I should let these episodes go. Should we go boss to boss or should we go... Like, a, a time frame, like, I've always struggled to know how long to make a video. Like, especially gaming videos, like my vlog channel, I tend to make them about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, but obviously my gaming videos, I live stream more than anything else. So make sure you, you uh, ding dong that notification bell as well to tune into the live streams. We are going to be doing a lot more live streaming again. Uh, my work has started to slow down again, so I have got time to live stream again. But yeah, I, I never know how long to uh, edit these down. And uh, let's, let's push it. Let's, uh, let me know how long you think I should make the episodes. I was thinking around 20 minutes. But you never know. I love this bit. A hindy. It's a Russian hind, isn't it? It's a... Uh, Russian attack helicopter. See that codec is quite cool, quite a cool thing. Like, it's snake. I'm in front of the back a little bit. I, I keep like peeking on my mic. Snake. So. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Not Naomi, is it? It's is designed it to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Also, let me know how this game looks on Behind screen. Me. Like, obviously, it's a, an old game, so it doesn't look fantastic, but it's. I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. I know there's two entrances. We've got an entrance up at the top and we got an entrance down to the left that requires a chaff grenade. So we might go up to the right, I'll be honest. Go up to the upper level. Um, we get a sock on from here really early. I believe this there is really are only 18 really hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow. Well, it's not easy. I know it changes. Behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. Got to have it. I can't believe I'm being hit the game. famous solid snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton Raid. Alright, we can skip this, like. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure ah. you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look, look for, for the DARPA, DARPA chief. chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. 
He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Right, now we run across for the binoculars. We do the looky-looky. We find where we gotta go. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. No I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. Yeah, that's how you we got saved. We got to call her to save them. You can yeah. find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by yeah, Dr. Dr. Naomi, here, and then all my <laughs> weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. You never know. You can use them to see lasers and stuff, innit? That's great. Well, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's how... If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, yeah, there's a suck on. on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. Five five six uh, is just a the caliber in it. Five five six, the famas. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. You will be able to. We'll find that. We'll get there. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna come across here. We're gonna use this for cover. We're gonna take that ration pack. No, we're not, because uh, we're full on rations. We need to get across there, so we want him to disappear. And we want to come straight across here into the back of this truck, where we want to pick up the sock on a minute. Um, right, we have an option. We can do either or. We can skirt to the left and take out that guard, I believe. I believe we can come here because he's sleeping. A surveillance camera? Yeah, we won't get caught by that because we'll go around it. Yeah, once we get through here, we're good anyway, so we're good. Yeah, right, they chucked the pineapple in there. <laughs> nice, we've, we, we've uh, proper smashed that. Beautiful. All right, so we got through there. Nice. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. Nice. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. 
I thought I might be of some Mac use. Miller. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So this cool. turns out to be. If you have any questions about the flora this or is, um, fauna out here, liquid snake, my frequency sure. is one four one point eight zero. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes, the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow, Follow the mice. mice. Alright, so we have... Campbell, Mailing, and Master. If there are mice... I keep forgetting B is like my main thing I use here. We are drowning, we are drowning, we are drowning. Uh, we're good, we're good, we're good. We are good. Pretty sure our first boss for Ovarocelot is like miles away. Change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Right. Trying to remember where we gotta go. I'm sure I've got to go up somewhere. Yeah, I have. I see it here. Right, we managed to avoid that. Nothing in there. What about along here? I'm sure there's a room in here where we get chaff grenades or a thermal scope, something along them line. I think it's in here. But I'm sure we run along here and we get something. The thermal goggles. gonna say like it's so long since I played this but yeah I remember so many bits of it I played this to death like genuinely Gone, he's off the end.
There we go. We snapped his neck. He's gone, gone. Nice. Right. We need to find... This uh, cargo elevator. Because I cannot remember where it is. Oh, it's directly under us. I've just got to avoid these till I can get to the cargo elevator and call it and then go and hide. I remember that bit now. Right, let's stay out the way of this. If he comes this way, I'm a bit screwed there. Right, here's a cargo elevator. Where's the button I gotta press? B2. I think it's B2. Oh, that's hectic. That is hectic. Is it B2? No, B1. It's got to be B1. So I've got to get to the DARPA chief. Before I get to Ocelot, haven't I? Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okay. It's level one. Right. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press, press the, the action, action button, button by, by ladder. ladder. Snake, if you want There we go. We're going up the ladder. How do I look? There is a way of peeking down, isn't there? Stock on bullets. How do I peek? There is a way of looking down, isn't there? Because there's a... The one with Meryl in it. Is it Meryl? Isn't there the one you have to peek, go back out the vent, back in the vent, and she takes her trousers off, I believe? Was that the... Yeah. I think that's how you done it. Like, you went in, up to it, peeks down. Snake. The DARPA chief's signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. Oh, I forgot how to do first-person view. That 
That's how. Is that a woman? Not him. There we go. Save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They... No, they do have nukes. We know they do. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. A weapon that will change the world. A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. Metal Gear Rex. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. This is a we great, great cinematic. Imagine if they've the redone all the graphics of this game. Like, this would be, like, an unreal game now. Like, if the, the graphics this were redone, been for modern revolution. graphics. Revolution. Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? pal. Yes, of course. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? Psychomantis. I love that One of the fight. members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke, nuke anytime. Any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. 
hard keys. They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That's a hot, cold, and room temperature one. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? Ah, I that's heard the guards first. say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? The revolver yes. ocelot they fight. They over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. Nice. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Nice. I forgot about POW, okay. PAN. I'm gonna get you out of here. Stuff. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the PAL, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? He's having a heart attack. He's dead. Mm. Dead. Now the doors pop open and we go ham with a sock on. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Lies. We don't have time to debate. Mm. Get out of there Lies. and find President Baker. Right, before we get in our first firefight, do me a favor. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, Meryl's kicking their ass. Bit of a gap in that door there. Don't move. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time yeah. you ever pointed a gun at a person? I remember this speech. It's Your great. hands are shaking. <laughs> it's absolutely great. Can Pop the sock on. Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared rookie. look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. 
not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! He doesn't shoot anybody. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! Right, so how does she use their FAMAS if I can't use their FAMAS? I forgot how janky the firefight system in this was. Nice. Nice. Now we get the cheeky little cutscene of how you know which one Meryl is. There is a point later. But I can't remember where Wait. it is. But you can actually find Meryl posing as a guard, like by the walk. I can't remember where it is. I'm gonna have to try and figure it out later. Like, You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Nice. What a game, honestly. Psycho Manis. Good girl. Just like that. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was Psycho it? Mantis. It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psycho Mantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Right. We have a level one security guard. So literally all we have to do is bump and we can go in here and explore... Whatever we fit sock on bullets, they're handy as hell to have. More sock on bullets. Right, what we are gonna do. I believe this is level two. I think this is all the doors we can actually enter. It is all the doors we can enter. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna drop a call to mailing, we're gonna drop a save, and I'm gonna call it you there for this episode. Me? It's There we go. There we go. Yeah, this episode is already at 45 minutes, so we are a long episode there. But Snake, remember what the girl said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow. You know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? That is a great quote. <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China. But I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about Here you. we go, let's snake without risk, let's go. Um, think about it. 
Right, like I said, I'm going to call it there for that episode. That is a fantastic place to call it, I believe. We've got the, we've met Meryl. We've got the DARPA chief. DARPA chief had the heart attack, and we're now back, ready to rock and roll into basement level two, where we are going to get the revolver ocelot fight for the next episode. So, if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share the channel, tell your friends. Let's go. Thousand subs this year. That's the goal. Peace out. And tune in again next time.